Welcome to Teammates Golf. If you press the sign up button at the bottom, you could sign up with your information. You can also sign in with Facebook or Apple. I've already created an Apple account, so I'm going to sign in with my Apple ID. Here it will take you to your newsfeed where you can create a story, post your favorite golf videos and photos, like or comment on your friends' posts, or press the plus button to create a post. Add in a description, location's optional, upload your photos and videos, and tag friends. Let's go to the sidebar so you can create your profile. Here I'm going to click on Edit Profile. You can add in your handicap from a drop-down menu. This is how we filter you. Don't worry, your address and phone number will not show up on your profile. Update your profile, add in your photo, check your friend requests, and then you can choose your play preferences. This is just for a bit of fun to see how you like to play around. Save your play preferences. At the top near my photo, you can see my teammates and my tee times. We'll get to that later. If you want to post on your profile, create a post. If you go back to your home page, you can click on the golf ball tab at the bottom bar. Here you will see your tee times. You can see your past tee times and your upcoming tee times. These are all tee times that are in my area. If I'd like to see tee times on the map, I click on the circular map button. It's loading all the tee times in my area. If I scroll out of the radius and make it bigger, I can see tee times by the little icons. If I click on a tee time, it will show me who the organizer is. I can click on his profile page and see that he's about the same level as me. Then I can request to join this tee time. I've already requested to join his, so he'll get a notification saying I've requested to join. He can accept or decline. I can scroll through the tee times or I can scroll out on the map. If I go back to my tea times and I go next to the map, I can see my tea time invites. I currently don't have any because I haven't posted many availabilities. I'll show you how to do that in a second. If I go back to my tea times and I wanna click on one of my friends and invite them for a tea time, I can click here. I've already invited him, but I would click in the right top corner. If I would like to go to my tea times and invite other people, I can click edit tea times and invite teammates. Here's a person in my area that happens to be available when I have my tea time. If I click on him, I can see that he's probably going to be better than me, but I can still try and invite him for my tea time. Now I update the tea time and he will get a request. He can accept or decline. If I'd like to post availability, I can go to my availability on the sidebar. I can post in availability slots by dates and times and location. I would just type in Houston, Texas, because then it will give me a large radius and post my availability. You can put as many availabilities as you like and edit or delete them. If I go back to my bottom bar, I can go to the store. Here you'll see all the things available in stores that people have posted. If I go to my sidebar, I can create my own store. I've already created mine, but I haven't uploaded any products. When you create a store, it will take you to Stripe Payment and set you up. It's really easy, and it will make things easier for you as a seller. If I want to upload a product, I collect, select the bag in the corner with the plus sign. I can add a product. There are many categories and subcategories to choose from. If I'd like to just shop, I can add a product to my cart and go to the checkout. If I'd like to check on my orders and my order history, my order requests, I can see those from my sidebar. If I'd like to go to my settings and change into dark mode, you can see that it looks pretty cool. If I, if I tap on my envelope in the top right corner, I can see my notifications and my messages. Lastly, if I tap on the bottom right search bar, I can just find friends. I can search people by handicap and add them as a friend or invite them for a tea time. 
If I click on them and invite them for a tea time, my tea times will come up and I can click the invite button. We hope you enjoy the app. We think it's pretty fun to use and I don't think will be too difficult for you. Post some great stuff, have some fun, meet some great people. Thanks for downloading.